The following is a short tutorial on how to create a really cool banner within Google Sites. So within Google Sites, you have a banner right here, and a banner is what's going to sit at the top of your web page. And it's kind of like the first thing you're going to see when you come into a web page. So we want to make sure that these banners are really eye-catching and pop out. And not only that, that the information within the banner is really clear. So we're just going to go through some tips on this today. So to start, we're going to need some content to put in our banner. I was a huge Michael Jordan fan growing up, so I am going to call this Michael Jordan. Uh, one thing you're going to note is when you give it a title up in the banner, after you push enter, you're going to see that this appears here. This banner is really important when designing your banner. We're going to talk about that in a second. But first of all, I just want to show you how easy it is to put just a generic banner up there. So you can just go into Google and you can do a search. Uh, one thing to note is that when you search it, if you write background or wallpaper beside whatever you're searching, you'll tend to get better images for this. And so when you see all these images, one thing you're looking for are really clear images and images that are wider. So for instance, this image is not going to fit the top of that banner because the banner is nice and wide. So I like this image right here when I click on it. If you scroll over it, see that number that pops up 1920 times 1080? That's telling you how big it is and that's a really large image anything over a thousand is large so all you would have to do if you like this image is you could right click on it and basically save to your computer when i'm working on something like this i'm always creating um, folders that everything goes in and labeling it so it's easy to find so nj poster and i can save it and when I go to put it in, it's easy to find. If I ever need to go back to it, it's there. So now that I go back into, into the Google Sites, I can change this image and I have two options. I can upload it or I can select an image directly from the web. I'm gonna upload this one because I found it, but I'm gonna show you the two different options. So when you upload it, you're going to go into that folder. Mine was called Banner Images. And now I can just upload it and bring it in. And now you can see I have a really nice background. It's clear, it's crisp. Right now, I have a place for a title on top. But if I put a title on top of this, you're going to see that it's not that clear because it, it interferes with the image. This is one thing you really want to think of when you're creating something like this is where are the text and how do the text um, work along with the images? Generally, when you want text, you want to put it in a space that it's really going to pop and stand out. For this, it doesn't. Now, anytime you want to move this text, you can slide it over. But you can see when I slide it over, it doesn't really fit perfectly. But even here in my mind, it still interferes with this. So a couple of things you can do here is if you highlight this, you can change the font and maybe find a font that is a little bolder. So this font to me is a little bolder and might stand out a little bit more. So you can see that. I still personally find there's some interference in there. Maybe what I do is I bring these dots over here to this side and I see if this side of the page is going to give me a better look. And I do think that fits a little bit better. It's not conflicting with the other white in the image. So if that's what I want. Now, one thing to note is that you do not have to have text in there. So if you delete the text, you're going to see that it says click to edit text, but that's actually not going to show up. When you preview it and see what it looks like, you're going to be able to see that that text is not there. And you can see if you like the way the image is sitting. One thing I always do when I'm doing my banners in Google Sites is that I look at what it looks like from the different views. So this is what it looks like from a computer. This is what it would look like on a tablet. And this is what it would look like on a phone. So for me, this looks good um, on each one, right? So I'm happy with that. But when you're creating these banners, you have to make sure that everything fits the way you want it to fit. So now, let's just say you can't find a banner that you're really interested in having, or you want to custom make a banner. So I'm going to show you how to do that using Google Draw. So I'm going to X out on this and I'm going to open up Google Draw. So in my drive, I can go into New, More, and there's Google Drawings. So this is what Google Drawings looks like. If you've used Google Slides before, then you shouldn't have much of an issue using Google Drawings. It's very similar. Remember, always start by creating a title. It's just to make it easier to find. So I'm just called MJ. And when I go in here, the first thing I want to do is I actually want to set my banner size. So when I do that, I go to File and scroll down to the bottom. You see Page Setup. This will actually give you the how large the page is going to be. So if you click on the drop-down arrow, 
arrow, you can go to custom. What I always do for Google Sites is I switch this over to pixels because I know that it's 1285 by 335. And I've just figured that out. And when I click on apply, that will give me a banner that's going to fit nicely at the top of my Google Sites. So once I have that banner, I can basically put on here whatever it is I want to put on and kind of create that banner. So for instance, I'm going to start by putting on a nice black rectangle. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put this rectangle on because I want my black background to be black and that and the reason I'm thinking that is because I want the text on the background to really pop out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go try and find some different images that I like that I can put on this background. So to do this, I'm going to go back into Google and I'm going to search Google, but this time I'm going to write Michael Jordan PNG. Now a PNG is an image that doesn't have a background because I don't want a white box around this image or I don't want text around it. I want it to sit it on top of that black image. So when I look at these images, I'm going to see, like see how this image has checkers behind it? That's what shows it's a PNG, but if you see that before you click on the image, it's not going to work because it's actually going to come in l looking like that. But see this image right here how it's got white and then there's the uh, Michael Jordan right there when I click on it look now how it has just a checkered background that means it's a PNG and one thing that's really nice when you're using um, Google Sites and Google Draw and all these programs is that you don't even have to save this to your computer you can just copy this image and you can then go in here and paste this image on here and you can see how that image doesn't have a white background so now i can just put this image on here and i can change the size by using this box in the corner one thing you got to keep in mind is that you're going to have your table of contents potentially at the top so you want to leave a little space for it so that's why i made it a little smaller now what i want to do is i'm going to go in here and i'm going to grab another image that i like i think this is a good image i look at it and i said okay now I, yep i got my checkers i'm good to go i'm going to copy this image and i'm going to put it in here you can also drag that image up into the tab but now i say okay now i like this so far and again i'm going to make it a little smaller because i want to give room for my um, banner title up at the top so let's just say i'm happy with that now the other thing one thing you can do is you can leave the text to put it in in google sites or you can go and um, find some cool text and put it in i'm just going to show you how to do that so to do that if you go to the website called cooltext.com, so this is looks like this website, there's some really cool fonts in here. I just thought I'd show you this. So you can click on a font. You can say, I'm just gonna say Jordan. You'll see that it changes that font. Then you can go into the logo and actually change the colors. So I'm just gonna grab it and have it red inside. And once you're ready to go, you can right click on this and copy this, or you can create logo. And what it will do is allow you to download it. Sometimes I like to download it because I feel like I'm getting a crisper image. So from here, when I go back into my Google Drawings, I can now just go insert an image and upload from my computer because it saved it to my downloads. And so when I go in here, and then at some point, I'm going to move it over into my banner folder. But you can see that there is the image. And when I bring it in, I have this really nice crisp image. One thing I do like a lot about using something like Google Draw is that these images aren't locked down. You can move them wherever you want to move them. And I'm just going to show you what I mean by that in a sec so let's just say I really like this and I feel like this is a good one that I want to use I just go to file and then I go to download JPEG so this will download it onto my computer into my downloads and then when I go back in here I'm actually going to create a new page for this one so I'm going to add a new page and I'm going to call it MJ and so now you can see I have a new page. So when I go in here and say change image, I can upload that from my computer. Remember, it's all about knowing where you put those images. So this one right here is the one that I made and I can upload that and you can see that it's right inside of here. This text on top is interfering with this. So I can just take that text out. One thing always to do is go back and actually look 
to see what it looks like in different views. See how that Jordan's not lining up on a cell phone view? I would go back into my Google drawings and I'd actually shift that slightly to the left and maybe make it smaller. You see on a computer view, it's still kind of cool. I've got some of Michael Jordan and then this is what's going to look like on the laptop. So for me, I just know that I have to make a slight shift and then resave it and bring it in. So a final couple of things I want to show you what I was talking about. So I could go in here and take this out. It's really quick. I would just download that again as a JPEG. And this is what I think is worth the time is if you go in here, you can switch out things really fast to see if they work. So I'm going to re-upload that image. You're going to see that there it is right here. Remember, title it properly. It's easier to find. Now I don't have it. Now I can either type in text Michael Jordan or the other thing I can also do is I can insert an image. So when I insert an image, I can upload an image directly in here. This has some limitations. It comes in really clean and clear, but now when I put this in here, you know, I actually want to get rid of this one. So I got to get rid of this one. So now I can push this image wherever I want. Um, so you can bring images in and put them in the top bar. One thing you're going to notice is they don't like give you a ton of like, you can't be really specific. It kind of locks itself in certain spaces. The last thing I want to show you is this, is right here where we talk about this, where all of your drop downs are. You want to make sure that those can be seen very clearly. To change some settings in here, you can go into the settings right here. And under navigation, you can send this navigation bar to the side or keep it at the top. But you can also add a transparent layer, what I have now. But say you wanted a black layer, you can see that it's added a black line underneath it. And you can also add a white line. So for this one, I think what looks best is transparent. But you want to play around with that to make sure that it's easy to read these. That's really crucial because that's how people are going to navigate your website. So that is a short tutorial on how to create a really cool banner within Google Sites.